Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all okay today, right? Let's see what wants to come out in today's energy. Person who is on your mind the most. Okay. All right. Okay. Right, overall energy today is somebody who betrayed you okay this person left you feeling defeated in a nutshell i think this person showed their true colors okay they were deceptive i think they were a bully aggressive i've got the five of swords sat in the middle if you're just wondering which card it is you felt very lonely in this relationship okay i, I just feel that they left you on the sidelines a lot i think there was a lot of fighting but more than fighting um this person walked away, okay, but they haven't moved on. It's almost, I'm not sure if they haven't moved on because they genuinely care or they haven't moved on because they don't feel they had the final word. It's almost as if they, they don't know when to shut up. You know, they just don't know when to stop poking at you almost so I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper just while I'm shuffling these though if you would like a personal reading if you just click on the title of this video the link is in the description box and the free relationship report as well okay so this person did leave you quite lonely um, they haven't moved on okay I just feel that this is a situation okay that they feel they've not had their final say about something. They feel it could be from a legal point of view or a sharing of the assets, but there's something bugging them, okay? There's something bugging them. But you've seen through them, okay? They revealed their true colours before they left, okay? they, Like I said, they were bullying, um very underhanded behavior very underhanded right okay, let's just have another one okay i think on the whole this person does miss you i think they would like to go back in time with you i think they wish they had handled things differently here so there were things that were said. This is a card, Five of Swords. I always call it the um, street angel, but house devil. So, you know, everybody else thinks they're really nice, stable, kind and loving and just, you know, a wonderful person. But behind closed doors, they're not. They're not. There were also a lot of other people involved in this. I think somebody... I think somebody didn't like you that they were connected into, okay? And because of this, I think they worked in conjunction, oh, excuse me, with your person to almost sideline you because this person you're connected into left you, like I say, left you very lonely. They almost left you paralysed by fear. Okay, that you, you had a fear of what was going to happen next. I think you knew that they were working against you with somebody else here, okay? I have got Virgo, I've got Aquarius, and I have got Pisces at the moment. Those are the strongest energies. I'm going to take those because they're the first cards out. Okay, but they're wishing that they could have handled it differently. So I'm going to clarify that because I'm not sure if they're wishing that they were nicer or almost wishing that they'd had the final say. I think you got one over this person in the end. You could have just retreated, cut them off, or you were just stonewalling them. You almost like call it grey rocking where they weren't getting a reaction out of you. Okay, and I don't think they liked this. So I'm going to see, are they genuine? They've definitely showed their true colours during this relationship though. Definitely showed their true colours. Um, you, you know, they, they were quite aggressive. You know, they didn't, they didn't communicate with you properly. They did definitely sideline you. I think at times you, you felt... 
I'm not saying you were paranoid, but because of all the things, these people that were working against you, they left you feeling very lonely and possibly a little bit paranoid. But I think this was all part of somebody's game plan here. I think it was all part of somebody's game plan. Right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, why do they want to do things differently? The Ace of Cups is in the reverse, so they haven't let it go. Okay, they have not let it go for whatever reason. Whether it's genuine or they just don't like to lose. You know, sometimes even, this is going to sound a bit crazy, but even if you've lost things in the physical, like you could have lost your home or your possessions or money, sometimes by grey rocking someone or sometimes by just cutting them off at source and saying, actually, no, I'm not listening to this shit anymore because that's what the five of swords is. That's what's bang in the middle. I'm not listening to this anymore. Um, I'm not going to play your games anymore. That actually is a form of winning. And I don't think this person likes that. They just have to be right. Or I just see them sort of shouting and arguing and fussing and fighting just because they want to. Just because they want to. Right, why do they want to turn back time, please? Like I say, they haven't moved on. Let's get the energy in here. Right, I don't trust them. Snakes come out. Okay, they betrayed you. As you know, if you watch me regularly, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The cards have come out. They're saying that they, you know, they want to handle it differently. They long to see you again. But we have got the Five of Swords and, you know, the Hermit here. And now the snakes come out. Okay. They were malicious. And again, there was another person who they roped into these shenanigans, okay? You saw their true colours, but their true colours today have been revealed because when the snake comes out, this means that someone does not, does not have good intentions, okay? They're still in a deceptive, malicious, backstabbing energy, okay? If you feel intuitively or you know that this person deceived you with another person, that is correct in this reading. Only if you know, you'll know your story. But if this is somebody who has gone around outside of your home, blaming it all on you, being the street angel, you know, it's a sort of person, a street angel, who will, you know, give to charities and do all the good works, okay, but as soon as you close that door, they do turn into the Five of Swords. I mean, this could, you'll know your story, this can actually just be out and right abuse, it can be physical abuse, okay. Your person's very narrow-minded, so them wanting to turn back time and handling handling it differently, I think is the fact that because you've, you've grey-rocked them, you just wouldn't listen to them anymore. You put the fire out, okay? They did, they, they've lost. They didn't like it. They don't like it. They're pissed off. They really, really don't like it. They don't like the fact that they've lost at all. Um, if you felt there was a female energy in your surroundings who played a part in this, especially with the... Um, with the backstabbing and the betrayal, um, that energy is still there. Okay, let me just have some more on that, please. And I have a couple more Bella Normand on this snake energy. Yeah, it's a female, powerful female. Okay, very, very powerful female. <clears throat> the powerful female is very money orientated, extremely money orientated. Someone in your past had a very unhealthy, I know, sort of an unhealthy attachment or interest in yours and your person's personal finances, okay? Your person, if you have 
manage to get some money out of them or they're losing a court battle or they're losing, losing something, even their reputation, you know, okay, because this is somebody, the street angels, I'm not going to say, is someone who will preserve their reputation at all costs, they will lie and lie and lie and lie to preserve their reputation, okay, but there is definitely a interfering female who had too much interest in your personal finances. This female energy is very smothering as well. A larger than life female, okay? This female wasn't a shiring, like retiring wallflower. This is someone who was right in your face. Okay, but your person I think made you paranoid actually by that's why you were sidelined by telling you, oh, you know, she's lovely or she's this or she's that or this person's fantastic. What are you talking about? Okay, let's just have one more, please. Yeah. I think you have or you will find out some information on your person and this connection they've gone into, whether it is third party or friends or family or whatever this female is, I think you are going to find out some information, okay, or you have done, and I think your person is fearful to move on, that they want to come back in and fight again over something, they want to come back in and fight, they feel quite rightly so, that you've told the truth about them. And I think there are possibly people who are now beginning to see them for what they are. Be their true colours, their true colours have come out now. Can you just give me two more, please? What, what, what's going to come to light? What's going to come to light here? Yeah. There was a mother or a mother substitute who played a significant role in something that went on here. Yeah. You'd had enough of... You'd had enough of um, covering for them. Okay, you've covered for somebody for something. You'll know what it is, whether it's just maintaining their reputation I'm getting but now you've had enough of that and people are starting to find out find out but you've had enough of being the one that carried the weight you dropped it you've had enough it's the end of the line I think if this is your reading today it is the end of the line I think as far as you're concerned you've just had enough and you've dropped it okay but they're frightened about some information that's going to come out. Like I said, it could be something in a court case or it could be just something as simple as other people finding out what they're actually like behind closed doors. Okay, because nobody who has got this sort of personality likes to be defeated. This, this person you're connected into doesn't like to lose. They don't like to lose at all. No, they don't. You're going to win something, though. You're definitely going to win at something. I feel the person's going to come back in with a message. Um, I think it's going to be a very friendly, cheerful message. I think they're going to tell you that they miss you and that they long for you. Okay, but, and I'll go back to it again... The card clarifying, the cards clarifying if they could turn back time and handle it differently is the snake. So they don't have good intentions. They're doing it to protect themselves. Okay, if there's something that you know about that they need to protect, you're going to learn about this or you've learned something, but they are protecting themselves here, most definitely. Yeah. There was a lot of gossiping in this relationship. There was definitely three people in this relationship, whether it's third party or this other strong female motherish type figure. But somebody who led your person astray. If they liked partying and being sociable and reckless, this person encouraged it. Okay, but this person knew what they were doing. They were trying to isolate you. 
Okay, but you have the final say in the end by almost grey rocking this person. But your person hasn't finished yet. I don't feel they've finished yet. No, they haven't. I think your person is very concerned about money. They're very materialistic. Their image matters. Okay, their image really matters. I think they live in cuckoo land at times. There is an element of a gold digging female that has got themselves or is involved in this situation. Um, your person is quite reckless at times with money. Okay, they could even have made some shady investments. All right. There's something that you know that they don't want you to tell on them about. But their energy is one of, they like to be seen as someone who's successful and independent. Okay, but their main motive is wealth. Wealth. Right, let's see how this is going to end up, please. I think they will, like I said, I think they'll come back in with a, a, a message. It'll come out of the blue. I'm even getting for some of you, it could be next month. Okay, it could be the end of this month, next month. Especially if they're a fire sign. Okay, especially if they've got Leo. I think this will come out of the blue. But also I think what it's going to be is it's going to be a street angel message. It's not going to be you've done this to me, I want, I want, I need, I need. No, they're going to come in from a different angle. Almost as if nothing's happened. Almost as if nothing's happened. Because they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose. Right, let's see what the outcome is going to be, please. Right. One more. Yeah, they want to meet up. Okay, we've got addiction as the final card. I, had, I think this came out yesterday or the day before, so it's a continuing theme, really. This is someone who's obsessive, controlling, and has addictions. I feel it's a financial addiction. Um, it could even be this female who's got an obsession or an addiction to your person, but there's definitely some codependency and addiction going on in your person's life at the moment. They would like to meet, meet up, Okay, they're going to come in and offer friendship. That's what I was getting. It's a double card. That's what I'm getting with the page of wands. Um, they're going to come in and offer you some sort of friendship. But I see in your energy that you've been making healthier life choices. You're loving yourself, which if this was in my energy, I would be, you know, working on myself and loving myself. You're starting to feel happier. Okay, you're starting to feel happier. You were left very lonely. It's really sad, actually. I think you felt restricted. Someone could have even restricted you. I'm not saying they kept you prisoner, but in some way, either they belittled you, they put you down, or they controlled the money. But you weren't allowed to shine. You couldn't be you. You couldn't be you. And all the time, there was somebody else involved with your person, or there was other people involved that wanted to sabotage your relationship. Okay, they wanted to sabotage it. They could have been also gossiping and making things up about you. But because your person likes to, to you know, protect their, their wealth or their appearance, they just allowed it. There was a lot of bullying here. And also I'm getting for some of you that if you were fearful, I think someone, was intimidating you. Let's just have one more on that, please. I'll just let me just more on the five of swords, please. So yeah, this person is going to come back in because they haven't moved on. Okay, they haven't moved on at all because of what I, I've discussed. But the energy they're bringing in is still one of deceit and betrayal. Things are going to cut. Yeah, things are coming to light here. You've had the courage to adapt. You've had the courage to heal. Okay, but there is something coming to light. 
that you're either going to find about you know now or you're going to find out shortly and this person doesn't like that okay your person was a runner okay very egotistical okay they you know I often say it's one of my favorite sayings the going gets tough and they run off that is your person's energy okay when you wouldn't when you wouldn't sort of engage in any more of their bullshit or their you know backstabbing ways and you I'm getting for some of you even if you stayed with them for a while you pulled back emotionally you stopped asking them what was wrong. yeah you, you stopped asking them what was wrong with them and you you stopped you were just giving almost one word answers to their questions and unfortunately the true colors of this person are quite I think they're quite shocking really today they they're like a dog with a bone they just won't put it down until they've destroyed it okay and they come in all nicey nicey yeah they're going to they're going to come back and say that they that they miss you that they still love you that they still have a lot of affection for you i think they'd like to meet up for a drink or a coffee or something that's what the message i think is going to be it's going to be friendly it's so if you're having battles with this person or you um yeah if you've been having battles they're going to change tack they're going to come in with a different um a different angle you know this is a person of many disguises okay so let me get some advice from spirit for you please it's almost over okay I think you're in for the final push here like I say your current challenges are going to be resolved soon you, I do feel you're going to get some information from somewhere, somebody, somehow. You'll be able to look forward soon to the future with a smile. Okay? You will. This is almost over. Almost over. Just keep... Yeah. You're being protected. Okay? You are divinely protected at the moment. I think for some of you you are still really going through this but you are divinely protected okay it's saying stay alert okay watch yourself don't drop your guard and recognize the signs okay Re recognize the signs but also it's saying don't give up on love i think for those of you who went through the five of swords experience um it's hard to trust again it really, really is hard to trust again when you've loved, you've been kind, you've been empathetic. I think you, you know, you couldn't love this person better. You really, really couldn't. You, you tried everything with them. Don't give up though. That's just a message for the future. When this is over, and it will be over, and you will rise again. I promise you, like a phoenix. Okay, but a phoenix with attitude this time, because you will love yourself so much. Like I always say, you are the prize here, especially today if this is for you. You're the prize, you're amazing, and even on your darkest days, you will get through this, okay? And the more you love yourself, you will find love again if that's what you want, even if you just want a friendship or companionship. You will heal from this. Okay, you will heal from this. So I hope that's helped someone today. Thanks so much for all your comments. I do read all of them. I send you all my love and all my energy and just keep going. Okay, because I always I know some of you are having a really difficult time. You've had a difficult time. And it is hard to, to move on from this. But you couldn't have loved this person better. Okay, they will continue this pattern infinitum i feel unless they are willing to take a good long hard look in the mirror okay personal readings everything's in the description take good care of yourselves have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye